Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to do something really sultry and sexy and warm and this is what I came up with. <laughs> so I hope that you guys enjoy this look and I am obsessed with how it turned out. I really like the warmth of it and it's weird. It's like warm but then the lid is kind of cool toned a little bit when the light catches it. Just a little bit of a coolness is in there. <laughs> and then the smoky wing and smoky lower lash line. I love it. So sultry. So I hope that you guys enjoy this look, and if you guys want to stick around to see how I got it, then just keep on watching. I'm going into the BH Cosmetics Desert Oasis eyeshadow palette. The first shadow I'm picking up is Canyon. First going in with my Sigma E38 Diffuse Crease Brush, I'm going to start running this shadow through my crease, just going back and forth. This is going to be our transition shade. And then I'm going to start doing circular motions and start winging this out a little bit. I'm now going into Dune. And now I'm switching over to my Sigma E25 and doing the same thing, running that through my crease first, going back and forth, and then doing circular motions to start blending the shadow out. And then I'm going to wing that out as well. And then I'm picking up a little bit more of that shadow and applying that on this outer half of my lid. And then I'm going to apply this on this inner corner of my lid and then blend through the crease. And then just picking up a small amount of Canyon again on my E38. And then just blending everything out. I want this to be very, very diffused and blended out. So I'm just going to concentrate on taking some time to blend the crease out. For my lid, I'm picking up Prickly Pear. Now I'm going to start applying the shadow with my finger all across my lid. And I applied the other shadow as a base kind of to darken up the outer corner and inner corner. And then going back into my E25 and blending out that lid shadow into the crease. I'm now going into Terrain. I picked up a really, really small amount of this and I'm going to pop this right in the center of my lid. I just wanted to create a little bit of a highlight and more dimension to the look. First going in with Canyon and my E54 Medium Sweeper Brush by Sigma. I'm going to run this along my entire lash line. And now picking up Dune and running that again with that E54. And this time I'm going to really smoke this down. I'm now picking up Nightscape. Now going in with the E15 Flat Definer, I'm first applying this really, really close to my lash line. And then I'm going to start smoking this down. And then you can see I kind of created this like weird looking line right now. That's actually going to connect up into the smoky liner that I'm going to apply on my lid after I finish off my lash line. Now with that same E15 and that same shadow, I'm going to start stamping this onto my lid and then kind of doing like a flicking up motion to blend and smoke that out. And then you see where that line is. Now I'm just going to start flicking from that line and it's going to create a wing. And I don't know why, that just amazes me how well that just worked out and it just created like this most effortless smoky wing. And I'm just going to keep building that shadow until I like the darkness. You can also just go back and forth with a really, really light hand to blend out the edges. To highlight my inner corner, I'm picking up Mirage. Now with my Sigma F70 concealer brush, I'm going to highlight my inner corner. Look at how pretty that is. To line my waterline and tight line, I'm going to the Smashbox Always On Gel Liner in Brood. I'm now going to line my upper waterline. And then I'm going to line my lower waterline. I'm now going to apply some mascara and false lashes, and today I'm going to these Esquito Lashes and Naughty and Nice. And that's the eye look done. I want to do a nice warm nude to really tie in with the entire warm look. I'm obsessed with the eyes. I love how sultry they are. And these lashes complemented this look so well because they're so flared out. I love it. So now for lips, I'm going to go into the Smashbox Always on Liquid Lipstick and Gotta Light. It's like a darker nude warm darker warm nude lip <laughs> and 
And that is it. This is the completed look of my warm bronze smoky cat eye. I hope you guys enjoyed. I love how sultry this look is. I'm obsessed with it. I hope that you guys like it as much as I do. And I really wish I showed you this look before I applied the false lashes because it looked so good without it as well. And I thought maybe like the lashes would really complete the look because it would just create a little bit more fullness and darkness to the lash line. And because the lashes are winged, it would make it look more cat eyeish, which it did all of that, but it still looked amazing without the lashes and looked great with just mascara my lashes. I said lashes so many times. But some of you guys ask if I wear false lashes on a daily basis and I do not at all. My lashes would probably fall out. I could never do that. I only wear lashes when I'm filming or for photos of makeup just because the lash does make the look a little bit more complete and sometimes a little prettier, but not necessarily. And I'll only wear false lashes for special occasions and events. But other than that, it's always just mascara for me. And all of my looks that I create, you can 100% wear without false lashes. It would still look amazing. <laughs> so... After that being said, if you guys want to follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter, that'd be right here, as well as down in the description box, and also a list of all the products that I use, along with my brush set with Sigma, which is still available, will be linked down below for you guys to find everything easier. Don't forget to get your brush set. I would love if you guys did, and I think that should be it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!